Okay, so in this question here, right, we're asked to um, expand this here using the binomial theorem from my formula booklet. So I'll have 1, and then the power is half, isn't it? So plus half x. Now my x becomes this, doesn't it? My x becomes minus x over 4. Don't forget the minus. So it'll be minus x over 4 in here. Plus then, and remember n is a half, so it'll be half. n minus 1 will be minus a half over um, 1 times 2, which is 2. And then you've got to square the x, so we've got to square this, yeah? Which, of course, is minus x over 4, all squared, plus dot, dot, dot. Okay? Um, so then, if we simplify, that'll be 1. Now, when I times these here, fractions, half times a quarter, use your calculator if you want, half times a quarter is an 8. Just times the bottom, isn't it? So 1 times x is x, um, 2 times 4 is 8, so be so be x over 8, okay? And a minus, of course. Now, what I like to do is work this out on my calculator first, okay? Um, work that out, that becomes minus an 8. And then square this, square this. And, of course, when I square this, that becomes x squared. That becomes 16, and the minus dis disappears, isn't it? Because you square minus is a positive, so we get that. So my final answer then will be 1, take away x over 8. And then we've got to work that out. So I need to know what 8 times 16 is. Okay, so, of course, that's 128. So that'll be minus x squared over 128 plus dot, dot, dot. Okay, and we've expanded it up to x squared. They then say what is valid for. So remember that part is in the formula booklet. So we replace that to be x over 4 or minus x over 4, yeah, using the modulus that we've got there. Minus x over 4 because that's what the, the x value is, less than 1. Remember with the modulus, um, the minus disappears. And when we're dividing by 4, right, we can just take that 4 up. We take the 4 out of the modulus if you want to be detailed about it, like that, because um, it's positive, constant. Take it up then and do the opposite of times, in which is divide. Uh, so took two opposite dividing, which is times. We've got 1 times 4, which is 4. So the size of x has got to be less than 4. The size of it has got to be less than 4. So it could be less than 4 or greater than minus 4. Okay, there's our answer there. And then it says, by setting x equal to 1, get this approximation for root 3. Okay, so if we look at our, use our result now, which we got, I'll rewrite it now. So we've got 1 minus x over 4 to the power half equals to 1 minus x over 8 minus x squared over 1, 2, 8 plus dot, dot, dot. So if I set x to equal 1, okay, then um, remember now, when you set x to equals 1, we literally want to put 1 in for x, okay? on both sides. Okay? And it's approximately equal, right? So I should really put squiggly lines there, yeah? Okay? That's okay. Um, now, be careful. On your calculator, it's fine to work all this out here, right? Okay? It's fine to do that. So, you know, I'll do 1, take away 1, 8, take away then 1 squared over 1, 2, 8, and I get 1, 1, 1, over 128. What I don't ever want you doing though is typing that in your calculator in, in one go. It's fine to actually put what 1 minus a quarter is if you want to, okay? But don't, don't actually put the um, 3 quarters, of course. Don't actually put the bracket in. So 3 quarters, leave that bracket to the power half. Leave that, right? So don't do that. Um, on your calculator because it, it might do things which we don't want it to do, right? So all you're doing on your calculator is working out what's inside there. Of course, you might do that in your head. You get three quarters, but leave it then to power half. And power half then, of course, is square root, okay? But what we can do, okay, we square root the whole thing, right? What we can do, of course, is appreciate with square root, you can split it up, square root the top, square root the bottom, okay? All right, you can split it up like that. Of course, square root of four is two, and then what you do is then you take the 2 over the other side and you times that. Um, uh, 111 over 28 by 2. And if you times that by 2, then you get the answer. Root 3 is approximately equal to then 111 over 64. Okay.